socialization, and quite possibly some stereotypes as well. So don't get too offended! Time for some vocabulary! Our first word is political ideology. An individual set of ideals, principles, and beliefs in the political sense. Our second word to know is political party. A political party is a group of people within the political world that share common beliefs and goals. The two major political parties in the United States are the Democrats and the Republicans. Let's take a closer look at what makes up the Democratic and the Republican parties. On the left wing, we have the Democratic Party, or the Liberals. Liberals believe in more government involvement in daily lives of citizens, in the form of government programs such as Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, the Democratic Party, also is typically in support of higher taxes to the wealthy, supports equal rights spanning from race, gender, and sexual orientation, especially in pushing for a woman's right to choose. Separation of church to state, or a progressive ideal, forms the foundations of today's Democratic Party. On the right wing, we have the Republican Party, or the Conservatives. Conservatives believe in less government involvement in the daily lives of citizens, such as free enterprise. They tend to be more nationalistic and support the freedom of the individual. They support less taxes and traditional values such as traditional marriage on a Christian basis. Religion plays a larger part in their lives and because of this, they are pro-life. They do not support change and support gun rights. These traditional values establish the foundation of the Republican Party. As you can see here, we have some models representing each party. Why is it that we can generalize what a member of each party looks like, Fabrice? Well, Luis, there's this thing called socialization. Socialization is the way in which people develop their political beliefs. Due to the immense amount of time and emotional commitment, family is the main source of socialization. So if your parent is a Democrat, chances are you are also a Democrat. But in today's high-tech world, media and peers also play a very heavy role in an individual's political learnings. Environment, age, gender, race, and financial stability also impacts one's socialization. It can be used to guess one's political leanings. Oh, how intriguing, Fabrice. Now, kiddos, let's get to know these stereotypes more. And perhaps they'll give us the pleasure of seeing a debate. For our first question, how do you feel on the current status of our government? Trees, my good sir, are our friends, and we should treat them as such. What all we really need is free market. That and a Bible in one hand and a gun in the other. Say the whales! We need the free universal health care. Guns are as gorgeous on this planet. There are no no. <laughs> my money is my money, and I do not need no tree hugging pothead taking my money away from me. But neither of you have answered the question. Whales! You want to know what I think of the government? I think it's all corrupt and needs to stay out of my business. But guys, what about the question? We believe in the woman's right to choose. Gay marriage for all. Gay marriage? What are you talking about? What happened to the Bible? You, sir, you need Jesus. We need more government help in our lives with programs such as social security to help those in need. Oh, well then how do you feel about- Whales! Save them! Save the whales! We're God's children, and on the third day, he gave us guns to defend us from the dinosaurs. I think this debate needs to end. Okay, well that's about all the time we have today, kids. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Well, else? I have the munchies. You all want to go to Taco Bell? I don't take no handouts. Alright, so yeah, that was interesting. As you can see, as much as we can generalize and estimate what type of people will have what type of ideology, stereotypes for either party can get pretty ridiculous, when in actuality, any person, be it they are a Democrat, a Republican, or even an Independent, we're all average citizens and all want the same thing, just with different ideas of how to get there. This has been Luis and Fabrice, the Fairly Educated Sock Pals. Thanks for listening! Bye! Don't forget to eat your vegetables, children!